today's episode I want to show you what I have in my travel tech bag when I go on vacation because yes I still make videos whilst on vacation so it's not all sun sea and sand I always find the best time to make this type of video is when you're on vacation like this because then you'll know what you have in your travel tech bag and what you've probably left at home one thing I have learnt on my YouTube journey and that is that you definitely need light and I'm someone that likes to shoot with a lot of light and it does make a difference. So here I've got two portable ones here so just press power so you can get an idea, I don't want to blind you, put it that way and this one here and also I can change the temperature of this one here so no issues. As someone who likes to watch a lot of entertainment or listen to music on my travels, I cannot imagine ever leaving without earbuds. Now I have two here. So on my left, I have the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live and I really love these. In fact, I've got these in I think three different colors. I've got this in this red, then I've got it in the Mystic Bronze and I believe the Mystic black so all I need now is the mystic blue one and that completes the set oh these are so good what I love about them obviously the sound quality and everything but it's this design this kidney bean design I just find it it's unique I love it beautiful comfortable I even go running with these they've never fallen out so these are really cool and also they're phasing them out so yeah these are a perfect buy and the other reason why I bring this one is along. This is the uh, Google Pixel Buds A series. Again, I love these. Very much like the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. But what I love about this one is that you can listen to messages, you can reply to messages, you can find out directions. If you really useful if you're looking for somewhere. Oh, so that's why I would definitely like to take these along with me. One thing I certainly don't leave without when I go on vacation, and that is spectacle wipes. So here I've just got a sample of what I have with me. I find them very useful, as the name states, they're for spectacles. So for my sunglasses, you, know, you get a lot of dirt and stuff on them, so easily wipe them with these spectacle wipes. Now, the other reason why I have spectacle wipes and that is I don't know if it's about you but whenever you're filming or you want to take a photo you get a message on your screen pretty much telling you that your lens is dirty and it needs cleaning as you saw on the thumbnail of this video I do use a crossbody bag and that's usually if I'm moving from one location to another it is practical however there are other times where I just want to have a smaller bag and that's where this bag is ideal this is the lululemon one liter bag and it is perfect yeah it, in fact this has been a recent addition for my travels and it is fantastic so so ideal is i can put some stuff in here so again like i mentioned earlier if I want to go and test out a couple of smartphones, just put them in here like so, and I can go out and do what I need to do. So I've got, it's got, obviously you've got a side pocket here with the mesh, and then you've got further two here, just separated there in the middle, but really nice. Just to note, a lot of equipment that you'll see in this video, I have already covered on my channel. Whilst the microphone qualities on smartphones are really good nowadays, however, there are some times where I do need to shoot a scene that is a little bit far, and that's where I always bring a wireless lavalier microphone, and I like the sound quality of these as well. The other thing is, I always bring two, just in case I lose one, I know that I've got a backup back in the hotel. I think I like about this one as well is obviously you've got the clip and then the piece of resistance for me is this that you can rotate it clockwise and anti-clockwise yeah I find this one really useful on my trips 
One thing I have realized on my travels is that it's always handy to have a SIM tool ejector because on previous trips, especially when I'm reviewing the smartphone, all of a sudden I need to pop in a SIM and I realize that ah, I've left the SIM tool back at home. So this is always handy to have when you travel. No trip of mine would be complete without a folding phone. So here I've got the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. And if you've been on my channel long enough, you know that I love folding phones. I love them for their form factor, in terms of their portability, and you can take advantage of that large internal display. Great for content watching, but for me, this is where I do all my editing for my videos because it just means rather than carrying a laptop around, I can open this up when the opportunity arises and then I can just be working away. So maybe I'm commuting to or from work or at the airport's always a good one because I'm always delayed here or there. So I can kill off a few hours editing a video rather than wait till I get home or whatever. And then I think, oh, you know, maybe when I was traveling in between the delays, pop this open and, and I'm on my way. Now, I'm not suggesting in any way that this is ideal for everyone. This is what works for me. Maybe in, later on, I may change and maybe get a small laptop or something, but this is, for me, the folding phone are a game changer. Now, this is a sore subject area for me. And another reason why one should continue to have expandable storage on smartphones, because as you're aware, they're being phased out. So with the absence of that, so what it now means is I have to take a card reader like this. So you've got the USB type A on one side, and then on the other, you've got the USB type C. And then obviously here, I've got the, so in this case, space for 256 gigabytes. So when my device is full, then what I have to do, obviously insert this into the uh, type C charging port area, download the files that I want on here and all of this. And it does take time. If you've got lots of files, it does, it does take a lot of time. And all of this is needless if we just continue to have expandable storage on our devices. So again, this is something that I'd certainly bring with me on vacation. Another advantage of having expandable storage is that you can download as many movies as you want. So when you're on vacation, you can watch them without having to worry about the internal storage capacity on your device. It is no secret that I love Samsung phones. I love them for their overall capability and the fact that it's packed with features, features you probably never use, but I know when I need that feature, it is always there. However, when it comes to the cameras, I don't like to travel without a Google Pixel phone because the picture and video quality on these phones are amazing. So here I've got the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Brought this one out because obviously I'm making a video on it. So basically I think it's going to be the title of Google, what it's like to use the Google Pixel 6 Pro in 2024. So that's why I bought this one out with me. I also brought out the Google Pixel 7a. Now, <laughs> one of the reasons I, again, this produces fantastic photos and videos. But the main reason why I like to bring this one with me, as opposed to the 6 Pro Center, because I'm shooting a video on it, is mainly if you look here, it's the size. So the Pixel 7a on the right here, just find it a bit more manageable. Something else that I'd like to take with me on vacation, and that is this Canon PowerShot SX740HS with 40 times optical zoom. And I don't use this for filming videos. I tend to use it for sightseeing if I want to take something honestly, and this, little camera packs a punch. So you got the viewfinder here. Yes, yeah, grubby. Now, 
that's another useful reason why you have these spectacle wipes you can always wipe your phones or in this case you can just wipe the viewfinder there so you can see that spectacle wipes has its uses so again this is a really good camera really compact as well and i have to say the photos and video qualities of this camera are amazing and naturally i put it in a case and obviously i do bring it with some batteries with it but again a useful piece of kit that definitely comes with me whenever i travel another welcome addition to my travel tech bag are power banks see i've got two here and i find them very useful so you don't need to be scurrying around looking for somewhere to charge your device if you're low before we do this video then subscribe to the channel below would be hot and it is free to do as my analytics are showing less than two percent of you are subscribed to the channel also let's get this channel to where it rightly deserves at over 1,000 subscribers pretty soon because it does take a lot of time effort and not to talk of the money spent bringing these high quality videos to you whilst it may seem trivial one thing i certainly do like to have in my travel pack and that is a phone stand like this it's so basic so simple but definitely a worthwhile addition for my travels so so here's my mini desk setup whilst i'm on vacation and a few other items that i do take that i certainly want to show you are here so starting with this tripod stand really useful i do for filming really good then obviously i have this one here so i can put a device in there and and i'm good to go and the beauty with this one is that i can have it either landscape or oh, struggling to do this with one hand or portrait but you, you 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 get you get the gist anyway so really useful pretty kit that one now this one here as you can see i like it because it is collapsible and i can have it pretty much at a certain height now when i made a very similar video to this last year i brought the joby which was really flexible but I just didn't enjoy it because it, it wasn't sturdy. Whereas this one, perfect, it's sturdy. It's gonna stay whatever angle that I put it on. And what I can do as well is add this on top, screw it on. Like I said, I can have, a, have it in portrait or landscape. So that's really useful. Now, an important piece of kit is this part here. This here. And here, this is the ball head. Now, what I love about this is, like I said, if I put this on here, screw that on, or if I want, I can put this camera here. See the Canon PowerShot SX740HS, see 4K, brilliant camera. I can screw that on the top there and use that to film. And the best part with this ball head is that I can have it any angle, oh, struggling to do this with one hand. I can have it at any angle that I like, which is perfect. Now, the only downside with this mini, this setup when I'm on vacation, something I will try and address in future is, whilst it's great, but what I do miss most of all is for example top down shots so i need to be able to purchase something that is that will fit in my case and i can get top down shots like this of course no trip would be complete without a travel adapter and rather than carrying the old star ones where you'll carry two or three i purchased this one which is perfect and it covers various countries around the world in fact this one will cover over 100 countries that is correct and it's really light 
and I have found it really useful on my travels. So I just carry this single one here and it does the job perfectly. And what I also like about this one as well is obviously you've got the type C slots here and the piers de resistance is at the bottom here. You have slots for four USB type A cables, meaning you can charge four devices at once. So this is an excellent addition and never leaves my sight whenever I travel. And believe it or not, even when I'm at home, I even use this. So here I am at Lisbon Airport in Portugal. I've got a two hour stopover before my connecting flight to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. So naturally, I decided that, yeah, it'd be nice to top up a couple of my devices. So I used my USB-A type cable, plugged it into their USB-A inlet, and would you believe it, none of them worked. And this doesn't just happen to me, it happened to other people as well. You could see the frustration on their faces. Anyway, I saw one gentleman, he had a travel adapter. And obviously he plugged his type A cable in and then obviously the types into his device. And he was happily talking away on his phone. And I thought, aha. Uh -huh. And thankfully, I brought my travel adapter. So once I plugged my travel adapter into their mains, everything started working. And like I said, you could see the frustration on other people's faces. And last but not least, my daily driver, which used to be the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, but I've recently upgraded that to the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, I love this phone. And I think as I mentioned earlier, I just love the One UI. This thing is packed with features, probably more than I would ever use, but I know that when I need some that feature, it's already there. And to think that we're gonna get seven years of software and security patch updates on this. Yeah, I can see myself having this for seven years because even though I have lots of different devices, I really don't like to change my daily driver very often. Now, if out of all the phones that I have, you tell me, well, you can only pick one for your trip, which one would it be? It's a tough one because I said I do love folding phones. But if I had to just pick one, it would be this one, the S24 Ultra. Because if I needed to, yes, take great photos and videos. But I do prefer the ones on, on the Google Pixel devices. But the good thing with this one, you've got the S Pen. Meaning if I need to, I can shoot a video with this device, edit it, and post it up to any social media platform of my choice. Now, there aren't many other phones that can do that. So if I just had to limit myself to one phone, it would be this one because of its capabilities. As you saw, those are the typical items that I have in my travel tech bag when I go on vacation. Were there any things that you found useful or other things that you think that I could add on my next vacation? And remember, it's a tight squeeze because everything fits inside the Kono case and the crossbody bag, which by the way, are hand luggage. So it is a tight squeeze. Also, not forgetting that the case also includes my clothes. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for this episode. My name is Shola. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another episode. Peace.